Hi, welcome back to my cup of TV with Jenny, JD, and Kat. So, gymming. We've got so much gymming coming up, haven't we? The new album. We haven't yeah. been any gymming for a while though, so. We did vibe. Mm. Oh yeah, that was the main part yeah. of that. Yeah. The gymming well, ghost hasn't been around for a while, maybe he's, been he's coming back. Buying his time, because you see now he's dropped his teaser for his album. Face. You know Jimin, he's not going to warm us up to it, he's just going to bam, come out and hit us with it. <laughs> and is it going to be a a, a, a series? Uh, is it going to be face, ass, shoulder? <laughs> <laughs> What's it going to be? <laughs> so, but I'm, I'm, gonna yeah, I'm here for it. You're filth, you could have gone with head, shoulders, knees and toes. <laughs> yes. Maybe he wants to bring out a kiddies album. <laughs> no, that's J-Hope. J-Hope will do That's true, yeah. Yeah, so... Um, he did a live performance, didn't he? Vibe with. Mm, mm. Have you seen it already? I've seen bits of it. Yeah, I haven't seen anything. Cool, of it. cool. I've been good. Mm-hmm. Have you seen? No. Oh, no good. <laughs> um. So yeah, I don't think there's anything to say. So I just go straight into this one. Yeah. No. We like the song. Yeah. It'd be interesting to to watch them, hear them sing it live. It'd be great. Yeah. Um. I'm assuming it's going to be from well from the pictures I've seen. Looks like sitting down like might they might get up i don't know but it looks like it's um More it is to yeah dance. it's to be performed live yeah, yeah so okay good so please remember to like comment and subscribe in the comments this is a good one if you could pick the concept the look for a live performance of vibe what would you be going for his hair just down and long and fluffy I like how it's stripped back. I am. Whoa! 
I really like how they stripped that back. Mm. Yeah, it was really nice to hear it more. Because I have to acoustic. say, yeah, when you said about them like sitting down, I thought I can't. I don't know that that would work. The song, the way the produced track is, to be just sat down singing it. Yeah. No, I, I assumed it everything. was going to be something yeah. like so that. That really works. Which is well. nice. Yeah. And I did think actually, I was like, if they do a more acoustic stripped back version with less production, then it is going to be a different type of sexy swaggy it's a different vibe because it is a different vibe yeah. but it still goes I don't see how it's quite dangerous do you reckon that's what they call this version vibe a different vibe yeah <laughs> the sequel <laughs> the second vibe yeah. um, do you know what? both of them had very different energies I think mm-hmm. Tae Yang was very cool he, and swaggy he does for me have that slightly more mature vibe because he is yeah. older he's in his 30s so Jimin was cute fluffy like he's singing you a love song this time oh and well, Tim his tie out and it's like Jimin you, he can't turn off the sexy it's like be cute yes, yes. he's like I'm being cute I'm being cute oh, it just burst out of me I don't know what happened <laughs> for me that wasn't quite cute Jimin but it wasn't full on sexy Jimin it yeah. was somewhere in the middle but I think it's because he had the fluffy jumper and the fluffy hair his hair was kind of back though, wasn't it? I thought it was kind of wet. I think the fluffy to no, me. Oh, yeah. I may have just... was, I'd like to see Tae Yang's down and just natural. Yeah, because it was down in the video, but it was like in one yeah. of the changes, but it was stylized one. It does seem I like long hair. Mm. So it's, this is new to me. Yeah, lots lots of guys. <laughs> that's me. Lots of guys in K-pop having long hair. It's not now. just K-pop. It's K-dramas. I really liked how when Jimin came in, it was more what you'd describe as a galottal attack, which is basically when you sing using the back of your throat and you um, basically, if you were to say the word go, you use the back of your throat to go, go, go. When Jimin started singing, it was a galottal. And basically the reason I thought that was good was because, uh, and I didn't notice it in the produced track on the MV, but maybe it's because it was, you know, the acoustic version now, but it was just really nice because where Tae Yang left off and it was very smooth and then he came in with this, like, it it just basically vocally gave, they were bringing in different dynamics vocally. And so for your ears, it literally takes you on a journey. And it was very smart. So the way they do that. Do you mean like it gives it like a punch when he comes in that's different to Tae Yang rather than flowing into it? Yes, exactly. So if you're not using, like when you you start the pronunciation and the back of your throat and you're using, like um, you're doing it as a galottal, it's, uh, it's, it, it does start with more of a, more of a thud yeah. it's more it's more intentional it's on purpose and it's yeah like to to like phonetically like to say the letter g good yeah. it, it starts more with a hit and it wasn't hard but it was just literally he picked that out like Taeyang left off and then he picked that up and it just yeah. suddenly it was a different dynamic and i was like oh that's good interesting yeah but it was nice because it was also showing it's a the diff- difference it's a different vibe that's it <laughs> that's it it's just a different vibe coming in um, but it was nice yeah because he could have made that softer, but I feel like that was intentional. Yeah. And you can hear it more because it was stripped back. And I didn't notice that on the in the MV, the produced track. But it was good. It's just, there's m- lots of different vocal dynamics happening there that take you on a journey just yeah. listening to it. It was really nice. Yeah, really nice. really nice. Mm. And also, as like a vocal nerd, and I love singing, when you see people sing... And you know they're singing live as well because you see the anchoring muscles and you see like the veins in the neck. So when I was Tae was singing there and the veins in his neck was going, I was just like, ugh. See, I didn't notice that. I was just I kept noticing the way he would like glance at the camera and look away. Such like, a flirt. Yeah. Yeah. It was it. a real like if you were out, like say you're in a club and he's there and he's doing stuff like that, you'd just you'd be getting annoyed, like, are you gonna pay attention to me or not? Because yeah. I'm not gonna come over there, but God, I want you to pay attention to me. Yeah. <laughs> So you know, a big bang and dangerous. It was, um, yeah, it was very laid back, sexy. Even though obviously a lot of effort went into all of that, it still felt relaxed and kind yeah. of natural and authentic. They looked relaxed as well. Yeah, it was. It, it looked just like a nice jam session. Yeah. Which yes, really nice instrument playing from all of the yeah. the band there. And I loved that they had a female guitarist as well in her burgundy leather jacket. Yeah. I was like, that's <laughs> that's cool. So yeah, it was really nice. Yeah. Nice chill. And. Where they were singing together, that sounded really nice as well. Yeah, their harmonies were good. It's it's nice when you see 
people harmonizing or octaves or whatever they're doing to decorate a song and that's why like I go really nerdy into it of like all of these stylistic choices and um, vowel modifications and things it's it's literally you could sing two songs completely differently just by your stylistic choices yeah. or harmonies and things like that and it makes it sound completely different or the arrangement you do whether yeah. you do it acoustic or you do more of a produced track or whatever so it's just so interesting to see what an artist decides to do with a track and how different that can make you feel and, and what the end result is yeah so yeah oh, nice I wonder how I would have felt about this if this had been the track they released mm-hmm I would have been like, oh, that's nice, yeah. It's got a little... It's still sexy, yeah. groove to it. Yeah. Could you imagine if they'd have done that and then brought out the other version? Mm. That would have hit so hard. <laughs> yeah. What do you think, Kat? Yeah, I liked it. I liked the acoustic versions. Yeah. yeah. I, I almost I liked, just wanted more. I liked yeah. Jim's jumper. It looked very comfy. Well, tell you, you keep the jumper. I take Jim in. Everyone's happy. It, <laughs> it looked like it had zips that you could yeah. just. Yeah. Go, oh. Do you know why? Sometimes the shoulder needs to be released. It, it needs to breathe. Like zip. Yeah. It's a fast release. <laughs> just go. I like the boots. Yeah. Yeah. Their styling choices were really nice. Uh, I'm just going to say a tight tie. I look like a fuckboy. <laughs> and I'm okay yeah. with that. <laughs> I almost wish that, um, even if it was like unofficial or whatnot, but. For that whole arrangement for that one song is fantastic, but I almost wish that we could just get more of a little jam session out of them. Like sing, sing some other songs, do some yeah. covers, like because they look like they they were all set up and they sound so good together. Yeah. Like just just do some covers, whatever you fancy. Or it could have been like maybe they do a Big Bang song together and they do a BTS one together, oh. or like some of the other solos together. Do yeah. you know what I mean? That would have been fun. Oh my god, can you imagine if they did like their own version of Serendipity? If if Jimin was like. Yeah. <laughs> Ooh. Yeah, sorry, my mind's going now. <laughs> but yeah. Yeah. Okay. okay. Or um oh Taeyang has some very sexy songs. What if they did a duet version of a song called Wedding Dress? That's quite that would be very sexy. I think they do a really good job of singing and performing. Mm-mm. Oh okay. <laughs> There's so many choices, yeah. And again, I think this is oh. so nice why you get artists within K-pop that do covers of each other's songs because they, they, you know, they complement each other's work. They all really like it. Or another one that we did recently was Ten Birthday. Oh, gosh. <laughs> Dangerous. I'm not even thinking about what they'd sound good on. It's like, what do I want to watch them do? <laughs> Where is my mind going? It's going to the gutter. Oh. It's, it's Jimin's fault. It's not me. It's mm. Jimin. He poked his tongue out. I didn't do that. <laughs> Oh, mate, you're, you're not safe at Toyang or anyone in Big Bang. So, I blame, I, I I blame both of them. I don't know that I'm getting those feelings towards Toyang so far. Mm-hmm. I'm never ruling it out because yeah. you never, 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 when you're going to show me and it just... Do you not learn? This is, tends to be, sometimes for new idols for you, tend to be a slow burn. Not often mm-hmm. for me, though. No, you tend to... Um, Impulse buy, you pick a first one, but then yeah. some of them are slow burns, and then they yeah. smack you, and you're like, why did I not see this before? And I'm like, well, sometimes yeah. you just got to wait for that switch to flick, so who knows? So that was our reaction to Yang and Jimin performing Vibe live. So thanks for watching, and we'll see you on the next one. Bye. Bye.